welcome to youtube channel of fox education in this video we are going to discuss the important topic of mathematics that is power and exponent today's our topic is power and exponent power and exponents so here we are going to discuss power form of any number we studied that repeated addition suppose if you want to perform addition of 3 plus 3 plus 3 that is repeated addition repeated addition that means addition of number with itself is nothing but the it can be represented by the repeated addition can be represented by the multiplication here 3 is added with 3 how many times four times so this repeated addition can be represented in multiplication form so 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 addition of 3 four times so it's a 4 into 3 so it's a 12 so any repeated addition is converted into multiplication that we have already studied so now in this power and exponent chapter we are going to discuss how this repeated multiplication is converted into power form done we have already studied how this repeated addition is converted into multiplication now we'll discuss how repeated multiplication repeated multiplication repeated multiplication is converted into power form or also known as exponential form that we have to discuss in short we are given some repeated multiplication and we have to convert that repeated multiplication into power form so let's discuss what is power form power form basically gives repeated multiplication into some simplest form now we are converting our repeated multiplication into power form so therefore we are given some repeated multiplication repeated multiplication and that repeated multiplication is converted into power form for example if you are giving uh, if you are given repeated multiplication of uh, suppose 5 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 multiplication of 5 with 5 how many times four times here 5 is multiply with 5 four times done so here it can be represented in our power form by taking this 5 as a base and this number of times it is multiplied as a exponent so it's a 5 raised to 4 it can be read as 5 raised to 4 or it is also read as 4 power of 5 4 power of 5 so this is power form of a repeated multiplication so in this power form this phi is known as this phi is known as base this phi is known as base of the power form and this 4 is known as exponent exponent of power form this power form is also known as exponential form it is also known as exponential form exponential form so exponential form or power form same meaning so in exponential form the number will be in the form of base raised to some power so this is repeated multiplication 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 multiplication of 5 with 5 4 times so it can be written as 5 raised to 4 here 5 is known as base of this power form and this 4 is known as exponent of the power form done so 5 is base and 4 is its exponent that exponent is also known as power hai na yahan par bhi confusion create nahi hone dena hai 
पावर एंड एक्सपोनेंट बोथ आर इक्वल डन दिस इज नॉन एस पावर फॉर्म पावर फॉर्म कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू वी कैन से टू कंपोनेंट्स वन इज बेस एंड इज पावर फॉर एग्जांपल वन मोर एग्जांपल सपोज वी आर गिवन मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ एक्स है ना इंस्टेड ऑफ सम कॉन्स्टेंट वी आर हैविंग सम वेरिएबल फॉर एग्जांपल हियर मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ एक्स विथ एक्स हाउ मेनी टाइम्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स हियर एक्स इज मल्टीप्लाई विथ एक्स सो इट्स अ रिपीटेड मल्टीप्लिकेशन रिपीटेड मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ एक्स इट्स अ रिपीटेड मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ एक्स विथ एक्स हाउ मेनी टाइम्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स टाइम्स सो इट कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड इन पावर फॉर्म और इट कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड इन एक्सपोनेंशियल फॉर्म एज एक्स रेस टू हाउ मेनी टाइम्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन रिपीटेड वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सो इट्स एक्स रेस टू सिक्स हाउ इट कैन बी रीड एक्स रेस टू सिक्स और ऑल्सो रीड एज सिक्स पावर ऑफ एक्स सिक्स पावर ऑफ एक्स क्लियर स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज पावर फॉर्म इन दिस पावर फॉर्म दिस एक्स इज बेस दिस सिक्स इज एक्सपोनेंट ऑल्सो नॉन एज पावर ऑफ दिस एक्सपोनेंट फॉर्म क्लियर एक्स इज बेस इन दिस सिक्स इज एक्सपोनेंट ऑफ दिस पावर फॉर्म For example, if we are given 10 into 10, 10 into 10. So here it's a multiplication of 10 with 10. How many times? Two times. So it's a 10 raised to 2. 10 raised to 2. And for 2 power, we can also read as 10 square. 10 square. है ना इसको हम ऐसे में रीड करेंगे 10 square, which is nothing but the 10 raised to 2. 10 रेस टू टू सो टू पावर जनरली रीड एज स्क्वेर टेन स्क्वेर सपोज एक्स रेस टू टू इज एर सो वी विल रीड इट एज ए एक्स स्क्वेर सपोज फाइव स्क्वेर इज एर फाइव रेस टू टू इज एर देन वी विल रीड इट एज ए फाइव स्क्वेर सो पावर टू कैन बी रीड एज स्क्वेर डन अब इसको रेस टू टू भी बोल सकते हो सिमिलरली थ्री पावर सपोज वी आर हेविंग थर्टीन थर्टीन इंटू थर्टीन इंटू थर्टीन सो मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ थर्टीन विथ थर्टीन थ्री टाइम्स सो इट्स थर्टीन रेज टू थ्री इज देर सो हियर बेज इज थर्टीन एंड थर्टीन इज रिपीटेड थ्री टाइम्स सो इट्स अ पावर इज थ्री सो दिस थ्री पावर कैन बी रीड एज थर्टीन क्यू विच इज नथिंग बट दी थर्टीन रेज टू थ्री so 3 power can be read as q 13q done so this is basic introduction of power form power form consists of two components base and exponent the exponent represent the number of times the multiplication repeated for example 5 raised to 4 is there so here power is 4 so what is the meaning of this 4 multiplication of 5 with 5 repeated by 4 times So here you have to multiply this five with five. How many times? Four times. Done. So this is repeated multiplication. Here x raised to six is there. So here exponent, or you can say this power. Power is six. So what is the meaning of this six? The meaning of this six is repeated multiplication of this x with x six times. So you have to multiply this x with x six times. Done. Similarly, ten square is there. So what is the meaning of 10 square? You have to multiply this 10 with 10. How many times? Two times. Similarly, 13 cube is there. So you have to multiply this 13 with 13 three times. Clear, students? Pause the video and note it down. Laws of exponents. We have to study different laws of this exponent. different rules are there ha na to simplify these exponents so we have to discuss that laws of exponent exponents that means power so first law first law of exponent is multiplication of power first law is multiplication 
of power. So two powers are in multiplication. Now what is the meaning of multiplication of power? So you have to perform multiplication. Power itself repeated multiplication. But now you have to consider multiplication of powers. So for that, let us now consider we are having two powers. For example, we are having two powers, which is three raised to three and three raised to two. So two powers are there. Which two powers are there? Three cube. And three square, and multiplication of power. So this is multiplication of power is there. Multiplication sign. It's a multiplication of two power is there. So how it can be simplified? So we know that this three cube, three cube is nothing but the repeated multiplication of three with how many times three. So it's a three cube. That means three into three into three. So this is repeated multiplication of this three cube. Repeated multiplication of this three cube into three square. So that three square is nothing but the multiplication of three with three. Done? Yes or no? Three cube is nothing but the three into three into three, and three square is nothing but the three into three. So now here we can say that this is the multiplication of three with three. How many times? Five times. So it's a three raised to five. clear two powers are given in multiplication and condition is given both powers as same base ha na any exponential form has two components base and its exponent so here two powers are in multiplication having same base so what we can do we can perform the addition of its power so powers are 3 and 2 so addition of power 3 and 2 is 3 plus 2 5 we are directly getting 5 So now we can write the formula. If two powers are in multiplication and their base is equal, then we can perform addition of the power. So formula is a raised to m into a raised to n is there. So here two powers are in multiplication having same base. So we can perform addition of this power m plus n. So that is the first rule of exponent. first rule of exponent in which two powers are in multiplication and having same base which formula is there here you can say that two powers two powers are in multiplication two powers are in multiplication and having and having same base then what we can do we can perform addition of its exponent if two powers are in multiplication and having same base so we can perform then then its power then its powers can be added we can perform addition of their power done so two powers are in multiplication their base are equal so we can perform the addition of power so it's a 3 raised to 3 plus 2 So three raised to five is the answer. So directly, what we can write? Example number two. Suppose whenever we are given, suppose x raised to three into x raised to five. So here two powers are in multiplication. They are having same base. You know, x raised to three ka base x and x raised to five having base having base x. So these two powers are in multiplication. Their bases are equal, so we can perform the addition of their power. So our answer will be x raised to three plus five. So it's a x raised to three plus five is eight. So simplification of this x cube into x raised to five is x raised to eight. So this is the first formula of laws of exponent. This you have to remember. Done. Now second formula. multiplication of power second formula is division it is for division of powers division of powers so here different cases will be generated how how how, how? first example here you have to consider division of power so let us now consider 3 raised to 5 divided by 3 raised to 2 
3 square. Here you have to perform division of powers. Which type of power? Power having same base. We are talking, talking about the power with the same base. So here two power form are there. 3 raised to 5 and 3 square two powers are there and their division is there. So what we can do? For division we can write like this. So 3 raised to 5. So multiplication of 3 with 3. How many times? 5. Repeated multiplication and that multiplication repeated by how many times according to or equal to its power time your power is 5 so 3 multiply with 3 5 times so 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 divide by divide by 3 square so 3 into 3 you know your power is 2 so you have to multiply this 3 with 3 how many times 2 times here power is 5 so you have to multiply this 3 with 3 Repeated multiplication. How many times? Five times. One, two, three, four, five. Division. But division denominator will be done. So this kind of simplification we have all Three, three cut, three, three cut. So here, remaining terms are three into three into three. So again, it's a repeated multiplication. Three is multiplied with three. How many times? Three times. So what is the exponent form? What is the power form? So power form is 3 cube. Done? So here we have written that if two numbers are in division a raised to m divided by a raised to n then what we can do? We can perform subtraction of its power a raised to m minus n. They have a key on 3 raised to 5 divided by 3 raised to 2. So two powers are in division. So we can perform the subtraction of the power. That is, क्या कर सकते हैं direct three raised to five divided by three raised to two. So two powers in division. They have the same base. So we can perform the subtraction of power. So subtraction of power is three raised to five minus two. Three cube. आ गया direct answer. Done. So this is the first case of this division, but है ना ये तो एक ही केस है। इसमें क्या था? Here power of numerator is greater than power of denominator। है ना इसको हमने ऐसे लिखा था? ऐसे लिख सकते हैं। It's a three raised to five divided by three raised to two। So two powers are there. One power is in numerator and another power is in denominator. So here for numerator base is 3 and for denominator base is 3 for numerator power is 5 and for this numerator power is 2 so which power is greater than larger power is power of this numerator so here we have to perform subtraction of the power in numerator so we have to subtraction kaha kiya? 3 raise to 5 minus 2 numerator ka jo power in usme subtraction kiya because here power of numerator is greater than power of denominator for example for example, this is case 1. This is case 1. For example, if we are given like this, it's called Suppose we are given 3 square divided by 3 raised to 5. Then, what is the meaning of this? This is equal to 3 square divided by 3 raised to 5. So now, here you can see that these two powers are in division base are equal power of numerator is 2 and power of denominator is 5 so here power of this denominator is greater than this power of numerator and the denominator ka power hai wo numerator ke power se bada hai so for this case we have to perform subtraction in denominator why isko thoda expand karke likhte hai simplify karte hai so 3 square is nothing but the 3 into 3 and this 3 raised to 5 is nothing but the 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 5 times now perform cutting 2 3's are there so numerator numerator mein kya bachega kuch nahi hai na cut ho gaya so 1 aur denominator mein 3 into 3 into 3 therefore this is nothing but the 1 upon 3 cube 1 upon 3 cube here power of numerator is greater than denominator so your answer is 3 cube 
here power of denominator is greater than power of numerator so we are getting 1 upon 3 cube so what is the meaning of this 1 upon 3 is 2 3 1 upon 3 cube so here perform here subtraction of power is performed in the denominator so second case of formula is second case of formula is if you are having a raised to m divided by a raised to n then we have to perform subtraction in denominator so it's a raised to n minus m if n is greater than m power of denominator is greater than power of numerator done here condition is m is greater than n power of numerator is greater than power of denominator done this come direct karenge kaise karenge for example if you are given 3 square divided by 3 raised to 5 so here we can directly see this denominator of this a uh, power of denominator is greater than power of numerator so you have to perform subtraction hai na isko aap thoda achhi tarah se likh ke liye ho to feeling aayegi hai na kuch feel hoga aapko ki ha ye ho raha hai ka ho raha hai you have to perform subtraction in denominator so you have to subtract this 2 from this 5 to denominator mein hoga subtraction it's a 1 upon 3 raised to 5 minus 2 and that is equal to 1 upon 3 cube done so if power of numerator is greater than power of denominator so subtraction will perform in the numerator and subtraction is performed on numerator yahan par numerator mein subtraction hua if power of denominator is greater than power of numerator then subtraction will perform at denominator done so two form of the formula are there a raised to m divided by a raised to n a raised to m divided by a raised to n it will be equal to a raised to m minus n power of numerator minus power of denominator when m is greater than n or it will be equal to 1 upon a raised to n minus m when n is greater than m power of denominator is greater than power of numerator and third form of this formula is also there suppose we have to perform division of 3 raised to 5 divided by 3 raised to 5 now tell me subtraction kaha par karenge numerator mein ya phir denominator mein kaun sa power bada hai dono power equal hai so power of numerator as well as power of denominator are equal to isko kaise likhenge 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 5 times divided by 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 5 times denominator sab cut ho jayega that is equal to 1 so here simple formula is there if power of numerator is equal to power of denominator na a raised to m divided by a raised to n that is equal to 1 when m and n power of numerator and power of denominator both are equal so for second formula we are having three forms for division of power we are having three forms a raised to m divided by a raised to n will give us a raised to m minus n when m is greater than n a raised to m divided by a raised to n will give us 1 upon a raised to n minus m when n equal to m and a raised to m divided by a raised to n will give us 1 when these both powers are equal done for example for example if we are having 3 cube divided by 3 cube so here base are equal powers are equal so that is equal to 1 done so these are the two two laws of exponents pause the video and note it down third law of exponent is power of power power of power we have studied two formulas that is multiplication of power division of power third law is power of power so what is the meaning of this power of power for example if we are having two square so two square is one power then it's a power of power so we have to consider one more power of this power 2 raised to 3 raised to 3 so it's a power of power so what is the simplification of this we have to derive the simplification of this power of power so here base your base is 2 raised to 3 Anna, for exponent 3 this is base so power is 3 so what is the meaning of this power of 3 we have to multiply this bracket 3 times so it's a 2 square 
मल्टीप्लाई टू स्क्वेर मल्टीप्लाई टू स्क्वेर डन ये थ्री पावर इज देर सो यू हेव टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस ब्रैकेट दैट मीन्स रिपीटेड मल्टीप्लीकेशन बाय थ्री टाइम्स अगेन दिस बेज इज ऑल्सो इन द एक्सपोनशियल फॉर्म सो इट्स टू रेस टू 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 पावर इज देर सो अगेन रिपीटेड मल्टीप्लीकेशन यू हेव टू मल्टीप्लाई टू विथ टू विथ विथ टू टू टाइम्स सो इट्स टू इंटू टू अगेन टू इंटू टू अगेन टू स्क्वेर इज टू इंटू टू सो ना वी कैन सी देट दिस टू रेस टू टू रेस टू थ्री इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू टू इंटू टू इंटू टू मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ टू हाउ मेनी टाइम्स सिक्स टाइम्स सो दिस इज वन रिपीटेड मल्टीप्लीकेशन रिपीटेड मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ टू हाउ मेनी टाइम्स सिक्स टाइम्स सो इट्स टू रेस टू थ्री डन सो वॉट इज दी फॉर्मुला If power of power is there, we have to perform multiplication of this power. Two three is a six. You can directly write this one as a two raised to two multiplied by three equal to two raised to six. Done. This is power of power form. So our formula is when you are given one power a raised to m and whose power n is there, power of power form is there. We can perform multiplication of that power. So it will be a raised to m n. This is the third law of exponent. One more example. Suppose we are given x raised to three, and whose power is suppose three is given. So power of power is there. So here we can multiply this power. So it's x raised to three into three. So our answer is x raised to nine. Done. One more example. Suppose we are given five raised to four, and whose power is two is there. So it's a power of power. We can directly write multiplication of this power as a five raised to eight. Done. Right? So this is the third law of exponent, which is power of power. Then fourth law of exponent. That is multi. Uh, that is power of multiplication. You know, words may confusion nahi hone dena hai. Power of multiplication. फर्स्ट लो चेक करो इट्स अ मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ पावर है ना फर्स्ट लो इट्स अ मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ पावर टू पावर्स वेर इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड दिस फोर्थ लो इज पावर ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन दैट मीन्स टू नंबर्स आर इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड उसका एक पावर है सो पावर ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज नथिंग बट दी फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी आर गिवन टू इंटू थ्री सो दिस इज वन मल्टीप्लीकेशन पावर ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो मल्टीप्लीकेशन का पावर Suppose three is there, so this is known as power of multiplication. So here, this is one power form. In this power form, base is base is multiplication. Multiplication means multiplication of these two number two and three, and its power is three. So for repeated multiplication, what you have to do? For repeated multiplication, we have to repeat this bracket three times because exponent is three. जितना भी एक्सपोनेंट होगा उतनी टाइम्स बेस को मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे रिपीटेड मल्टीप्लीकेशन करेंगे सो हियर पावर इज थ्री सो यू हैव टू रिपीट दिस मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस ब्रैकेट हाउ मेनी टाइम्स थ्री टाइम्स है ना थ्री इज पावर सो इट्स अ टू इंटू थ्री फर्स्ट टाइम टू इंटू थ्री सेकेंड टाइम टू इंटू थ्री थर्ड टाइम है ना हियर पावर इज थ्री सो यू टू रिपीट द मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस ब्रैकेट थ्री टाइम्स सो दिस इज थ्री टाइम्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन डन नाउ ओपन दिस ब्रैकेट और ओपन दिस ब्रैकेट और राइट दिस नंबर डायरेक्टली सो इट्स टू इंटू थ्री इंटू टू इंटू थ्री इंटू टू इंटू थ्री दिस इज अगेन रिपीटेड मल्टीप्लीकेशन है ना रिपीटेड मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ टू विथ टू हाउ मेनी टाइम्स थ्री टाइम्स सो टू इंटू टू इंटू टू इंटू टू इंटू टू इंटू थ्री इंटू थ्री इंटू थ्री So what is the meaning of this repeated multiplication? Two into two into two, and three into three into three. Yes, very good. Two into two into two means two cube, and three into three into three. Multiplication of three with three, three times. So it's a three cube. So this is our formula. क्या formula है? If power of multiplication is there, that means if Power of multiplication is there. We can apply that power to both the terms in a multiplication. So we can apply this power three to two as well as this three. So it will be equal to two cube, two cube, and three into three into three. Two cube, two cube, and three into three into three. Two cube, two cube, and three into three into three. Two cube, two cube, and three into three into three. Two cube, two cube, and three into three into three. Two cube, two
टू क्यू मल्टीप्लाई बाई थ्री क्यू दिस इज द फॉर्म्यूला दैट इज द लो सो नाउ वी रिमेम्बर दिस लो एज ए इफ यू आर गिवन ए मल्टीप्लाई बाई बी मल्टीप्लीकेशन इट्स पावर इज एम सो इट्स अ पावर ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो दिस एम पावर कैन बी एप्लाइड टू दिस ए एज वेल एज दिस बी सो दैट इज इक्वल टू ए रेस टू एम ए रेस टू एम मल्टीप्लाई बाई बी रेस टू एम सो दिस लो इज नथिंग बट दी फोर्स लो ऑफ एक्सपोनट दैट इज पावर ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन क्लियर स्टूडेंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर गिवन सिक्स इंटू नाइन लो सिक्स इंटू नाइन एंड उस पावर इज थ्री इज देर सो इट्स अ पावर ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन टू नंबर आर इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन उस पावर इज देर सो वॉट वी कैन डू अकॉर्डिंग टू अर फॉर्मुला इज थ्री पावर कैन बी एप्लाई टू सिक्स थ्री पावर कैन बी एप्लाई टू नाइन सो दिस इज इक्वल टू सिक्स क्यूब इंटू नाइन क्यूब फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर हेविंग एक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाई वाई रेस टू सेवन इज देर देन इट्स एक्स रेस टू सेवन एक्स रेस टू सेवन इंटू वाई रेस टू सेवन दिस सेवन पावर कैन बी एप्लाई टू सिक्स एक्स एज वेल एज दिस सेवन पावर कैन बी एप्लाई टू दिस वाई सो इट्स एक्स रेस टू सेवन मल्टीप्लाई बाई वाई रेस टू सेवन सो दिस इज द फोर्थ लॉ ऑफ एक्सपोनट उज नेम इज पावर ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन फर्स्ट लॉ था उसका नाम था मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ पावर दिस इज पावर ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन अभी सेकेंड लॉ इट्स अ डिविजन ऑफ पावर है ना सेकेंड लॉ इज डिविजन ऑफ पावर हियर इट्स अ पावर ऑफ डिविजन फिफ्थ लॉ एंड द लास्ट लॉ लॉ ऑफ एक्सपोनट फिफ्थ लॉ दैट इज पावर ऑफ पावर ऑफ डिविजन पावर ऑफ डिविजन जो स्टूडेंट को पावर ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन समझ में आ गया है उनको पावर ऑफ डिविजन भी इजिली समझ में आ जाएगा क्यों कि पावर ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन में जो बेस था हमारा मल्टीप्लीकेशन फॉर्म में था तो पावर ऑफ डिविजन में हमारा बेस डिविजन फॉर्म में होगा सो कंसिडर ओवर बेस इज टू बाई थ्री एंड उज पावर पावर इज थ्री सो दिस इज पावर ऑफ डिविजन तो इसका सिंप्लीफिकेशन कैसे करेंगे तो यहाँ पर ये ब्रैकेट था जो उसको तीन बार रिपीट किया यहाँ पर बेस में टू बाई थ्री ब्रैकेट है तो उसको तीन बार रिपीट करेंगे सो दैट इज इक्वल टू टू बाई थ्री टू बाई थ्री टू बाई थ्री ब्रैकेट ओपन कर दो मल्टीप्लाई कर दो तो क्या होगा दैट विल बी इक्वल टू टू इंटू टू इंटू टू न्यूमिनेटर को न्यूमिनेटर में लिखेंगे डिनोमीटर को डिनोमीटर में लिखेंगे सो दैट इज इक्वल टू 2 क्यूब डिवाइड बाई थ्री क्यूब क्लियर क्या हुआ इफ पावर ऑफ डिविजन इज देर वी कैन अप्लाई दिस पावर टू न्यूमिनेटर एज वेल एज वी कैन अप्लाई द सेम पावर टू डिनोमीटर दिस इज इक्वल टू टू रेस टू क्यूब डिवाइड बाई थ्री रेस टू थ्री थ्री क्यूब सो दिस इज नॉन एज पावर ऑफ डिविजन सो वट इज द फॉर्मूला पावर ऑफ डिविजन सो टू नंबर आर इन डिविजन सो लेट दिस ए एंड बी आर इन डिविजन This is our base. Whose power is m? So this is power of division. So according to our formula, we can apply this m power to this a as well as this m power to this b. So that will be equal to a is 2m divided by b is 2m. This is the fifth and last formula of this law of exponent. Total five laws are there. For example, for example, we are having x divided by y and whose five power is there x divided by y whose five power is there so it's a power of division division means two numbers are in division our base is in the form of division ana this is one power form in which base is x by y and exponent is 5 so we can apply this exponent to this base in numerator as well as in denominator so it's a x raised to 5 divided by y raised to 5 clear students for example if you are having like this 2 by 3 raised to x is there ha na power is x so we can apply that power to this numerator as well as denominator so that will be equal to 2 raised to x divided by 3 raised to x clear pause the video and note it down
consider the concept of zero power for example if you are having one number with zero power suppose 3 raised to zero power is there so any number with zero power is always equal to 1 for example if you are having some negative number minus 5 raised to 0 so any number with zero power is always equal to 1 for example if you are having some fraction 3 by 8 suppose and whose zero power is there that is always equal to 1 if you are having some negative fraction minus 8 by 9 whose zero power is there which is always equal to 1 if you are having some decimal numbers 0 0.023 whose power is 0 so any number with zero power is always equal to 1 done this you have to remember and another important concept of negative power important concept of negative power is there negative power so what is the meaning of this negative power for example if we are having some power form some power of an exponent with negative a raised to minus x is there negative power is there so this can be written as 1 upon a raised to x 1 upon a raised to x done so what is the meaning of this negative power for example if we are having 2 raised to minus for example if we are having 2 raised to minus 3 so what is the meaning of this 2 raised to minus 3 2 raised to minus 3 is nothing but the 2 raised to we can say minus 1 multiplied by 3 2 raised to minus 3 is nothing but the 2 raised to minus 1 multiplied by 3 done so what is 2 raised to minus 1 multiplied by 3 so it's a power of power two powers are in multiplication so we can write it like a 2 raised to minus 1 or raised to 3 so it's a power of power so 2 raised to minus 1 whose 3 power is there so 3 1 3 minus 1 is a minus 3 it's the same now here 2 raised to minus 1 which is nothing but the 1 by 2 raised to 3 so here we can see that 2 raised to minus 3 is converted into 1 by 2 raised to 3 so this negative power is converted into positive power by taking the reciprocal of this base this is the main concept that you have to understand if negative power is there you can convert negative power into positive power by taking the reciprocal of the base or negative power is converted into positive power by taking the reciprocal of entire exponent that is 2 raised to minus 3 is there so we can take this 2 raised to minus 3 into numerator to denominator 1 upon 2 raised to 3 here we can apply this power 3 to 1 so it's a 2 raised to minus 3 equal to this is 1 cube and a power of division and this is 2 cube so 2 raised to minus 3 is 2 raised to minus 3 is 1 cube is 1 and 2 cube so this is second method you can convert negative power into positive power by converting this numerator into denominator or positive power convert uh, negative power is converted into positive power by taking reciprocal of his base two options are there for example for example if we are having negative power of suppose 2 by 5 raised to minus 3 so fraction is there negative power is there so you if you have to convert this negative power into positive power what you have to do you have to take the reciprocal of this base so directly you can write this one as a 5 by 2 raised to so this is how you can convert negative power into positive power and for example if you are having some fraction sorry if you are having some power 2 raised to minus 5 is there so for this type of power this negative power is converted into positive power by taking this numerator into denominator so it's a 1 upon 2 raised to 5 clear so this is how you can convert negative power into positive power pause the video and note it down.